There's an ongoing tournament on the digital edition with players around the world that we're calling the 2021 May Classic. It is June now, but the tournament started in May, so there you go. This is a round two game. I was unable to record the round one game because even though I played and I won, I was sick as a dog and my voice was terrible. My voice is still recovering a little bit, to be honest. But ahead, what you're going to get is a game where I play Saxony Engineering. The first 15 to 18 minutes is the bidding process. If you want to skip the bidding process, there's a link down in the description that I'm going to put there that skips you forward to the actual gameplay. If you want to sit through and watch the bidding process, that's fine. I try to talk about my thought process throughout. And if you're interested in bidding and how it works, it's a great opportunity to see it in action. So I hope you enjoy the game. It was a nail biter. It came down to the very end as many side games do. So enjoy. Okay, here we go. These are the combinations. So tier list time. Nordic Innovative is a high A tier. Tagawa Patriotic is a C tier. Saxony Engineering is a D tier and Albion Industrial is an F tier. So we want Nordic Innovative, and we'd like to not have to pay too much for it. But there's a good chance we'll have to pay a good bit. Um, so let's uh, do this. I'm not one of those people who throws down a whole lot of coin on something that I think is going to go up. I always bid one coin up on whatever the best deal on the table is because you never know when the players around you are going to end the bidding. So that's, uh, that's what I do. Okay. I, f I feel like in this group, Nordic Innovative should go for like 17. Um, Albion Industrial, being the F tier combo, we'll go for zero. So one thing to think about is Albion Industrial will go first, Nordic Innovative will go second, Tagawa Patriotic will go third, Saxony Engineering will go last. So let's stay on Nordic for now. So what I've got to think about is if Nordic moves to Albion's village, so if Albion trades for metal, Nordic moves to the village. Albion doesn't have to move to the, the village. Albion can um, trade for metal, produce, um, and deploy rally with the industrial mat. Um, produces over deploy. The so trade for metal, produce over deploy, and then move to the village and rally there with the encounter. So. You don't have to worry if you take Albion about moving your very first turn. You can, you can do something else if that's what you want to do. All right, we've got Ginger going off onto Tagawa Patriotic. Uh, I'm going to stay on Nordic. Nordic Innovative is just too good. And you can bet Ghost Wheel is probably going to try to outbid me for Nordic Innovative. He likes these stronger combos. Tagawa Patriotic is probably the second strongest. Um, and it, it, a lot of it will depend on how Albion, who ends up on Albion and how they play. Tagawa Patriotic has a bit of a slow start and Albion could pressure them early on. Let's stay on Nordic. Ghost Wheel's not hesitating at all. I mean Nordic has Nordic cannot play to the uh stay. We said we said seventeen. Yeah see Ghost Wheel's not gonna let it go. Nordic has to either play to the village tunnel 
or play to the Rusviet village. I don't love going to the Rusviet village, but Saxony Engineering, if they rush out, you can bump that um, can bump that Nordic worker off that tunnel pretty quickly. Nordic Innovative is going to be low on power in all likelihood and a good target for Saxony, but they can hide on the water. Bet you Ghost Wheel just snap picks. Yeah, there it is. I still like it 12 over Tagawa Patriotic. Feel like it will. Oh, 11 over Tagawa Patriotic. Still going. I said 17, but I think. I'm not sure Ghost Wheel is going to let it go. I really don't want. I really don't want Albion Industrial. I mean, nobody does. If it gets high enough, I could take it. I have a, a strat for Albion Industrial that works decently well in a bid game. It's about 18 turns to end the game. It comes out with about 60 coins at the end. It just peaks kind of late. So if someone else ends the game, it's kind of out of your control. Dawa Patriotic, only 11 behind Nordic Innovative. Saxony Engineering is going to have a hard time picking on Tagawa because this Patriotic board has bolster over deploy. So Tagawa, once they start building their mechs, is going to have a lot of power. Hmm. Saxony engineering. Okay, looking at this engineering mat, what you usually do with this is trade for two oil, produce, and upgrade your move and your deploy. You have a metal on the board, so you can immediately make a mech. And I've got a strat where I get to the factory in turn seven. So what I got to think about is, can Nordic beat me to the factory? Nordic goes first, and they will... Fastest way for Nordic to get to the factory would be to move, trade for metal, produce, deploy a mech, trade for metal, produce, deploy a mech, move to the factory. The so Nordic can get to the factory in, what's that, six turns? Move to the, the mountain and the village. Trade for metal, produce, deploy. Trade for metal, produce, deploy. No, because then they have to move the character out, and that would be turn eight. Or they could move the character out one space and move the um, worker to the village. Trade for metal, move to the mountain and the encounter. Produce, deploy, that's four. Trade for metal. Produce, deploy, again. And then move to factory. So that would be seven. So if Nordic takes the ideal path, they will beat me to the factory. But I'm not sure Ghost Wheel knows that path or will do it. Um, the feeling you won't. I really hate to take Saxony, though. I just, I really do. It's got, um, it's got power issues. Right, because bolsters overbuild. It doesn't have a lot of power. You don't get an enlist, you don't have a lot of cards. Tagawa Patriotic is probably going to. Ah, oh, gee. Um. I don't think Ginger or GamerGid want this up here. Let's go on Saxony. I really don't think anyone's going to go zero on Albion Industrial.
we shall see. Part of me wants to go out with patriotic, but that's that's just steep. Hmm. Winning for Nordic Innovative. Beat everybody to the factory. With a bid like this, if with Nordic Innovative, if you don't get a good... All right. One more dollar on Saxony. And then we've got to rethink things. Don't want to keep bidding. Oh my goodness. Saxony Engineering. 16 coins, Nordic Innovative. So who's Nordic going to get combats off of? Play. Uh, so four would still be 15 on Nordic Innovative. It just covers the board so quickly. Oh, gosh. I don't like Saxony Engineering at three. I don't like it at all. Don't want to go four with it. 20 is just really steep for Nordic Innovative. I mean, it can cover it if it gets into tier two. But you need an objective. If you don't get a good objective and the game goes long, Tagawa's going to overtake you. Go one more with Saxony. All right, Ginger gets back on Tagawa. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, Ghost Wheel's not going to let Nordic Innovative go. He's going to play it. Um. Uh. Gawa Patriotic, I would like to play, but at only nine coins below Nordic Innovative, I don't like it at all. Uh, Saxony Engineering, five. Saxony Engineering gets some early spread. It's a good factory card. Picks on, maybe picks on Tagawa early. Ah, but those traps. I feel like I'm going to end up taking Albion Industrial in this. I think 21 is just too high for Nordic Innovative. It may it make me eat my word. I mean, it's really just 15 right now. It's not a bad bid over Saxony Engineering. I may regret this bit on Saxony Engineering. I kind of, I didn't want to take Albion Industrial at only, f whoops. Hammer cut out. Let's, uh, let's lock the shutter. Whoops. Did that wrong? All right, now it won't do that again. I think Gamergid might be ending it here. We might be playing Saxony Engineering. I'm not particularly excited about.
you go you go economy with Saxony engineering and play to stall the game be hard to beat Tagawa at a economy game though Oh, he ended it. I probably would have taken Albion Industrial. Saxony Engineering went to seven. All right, let's get these on the board. Get these on the screen. So we've got Albion Industrial at zero. We've got Nordic Innovative at 21. Got Tagawa Patriotic at 11. We've got Sax, Saxony Engineering at 6. That on the screen. And here's. Let them know I've got a game open. All right, took a real chance on Saxony. I'm not super happy with my bid, if I'm being honest. I feel like Tagawa Pat Patriotic's a pretty good deal there. Albion Industrial's a pretty good deal. We are going to see what our objectives are. If I don't have any good objectives, I may just have to go economy. I wish I knew more about GamerGid as a player. how likely I would be successful. Yeah, I've got Harvest Advantage and King of the Hill. So all is not lost. King of the Hill will be difficult unless I get it very quickly, which I may be able to do. So this may be a two objective game. If you're joining me just now, you skipped ahead past the bidding. I've got Saxony Engineering at $6. Albion Industrial is zero dollars, Nordic Innovative at twenty-one dollars, and Tagawa Patriotic at eleven dollars. So I go last. That's the unfortunate thing here. So let's watch what Nordic does, because we know what we're doing the first two turns. Either way, I think. Let me make sure that I'm not thinking something else about the economy strat. It's either engineering or agricultural. Oh, I think it may be agricultural. Yeah, my economy strat is for agricultural. So Albion starts with a move. He's worried about Nordic taking the village. I don't think he needed to be worried. If the character doesn't come out, we can beat Nordic to the factory. All right, pretty sure we can beat Nordic to the factory now because it's trade, produce upgrade, make a mech, 
upgrade, produce upgrade, make a mech, move, produce, make a mech, move, it's turn seven. We get dibs on the factory card. And it is possible with all these low powered combinations that we could get King of the Hill. It may be tough to get Harvest Advantage. We'd want this one. And these two are usually where we go. The Nordic has to get out of that spot or we have to attack him up there. He's low power, it might be a nice opportunity to attack him up there. The guy was starting with a move and an upgrade. Let's see if he goes for enlist or deploy. It'll tell us something about the opening strategy. He's going for enlist. So we want to keep an eye on that. And we want move. We want deploy. See where Albion goes. I mean, this is a produce, right? Just traded for the metal. I'm thinking rally. Maybe here. Next turn, he can probably come up here and get this encounter. Going to see a produce. Probably seaworthy or speed here. The Gala does. I'm going to put an underpass here just to get Albion something to think about. Because we're not going to the village. We're going to move the worker up here. We're going to move the character to here. Produce, make a mech, and then move to the factory. We might beat Tagawa to this village as well, which would really help our position and slow down Tagawa's game. We won't beat Tagawa to the encounter. They'll see us coming. We should beat Nordic to the factory. Unless I counted wrong. And then that would be very unfortunate. Let's see, one move, two, three, four. One, two, yeah, I think I still beat him by one. I like this. Beating Nordic to the factory could be huge if we get the right factory. Card. And if we don't, there's still the possibility that we could bolster once. Depending. And get king of the hill. What did Gawa get? Two power and two combat cards. That's great for them. I don't think Tagawa is going to let us beat them to this village. We'll see. But right now, I kind of doubt it. Tagawa is probably going to have the power to knock us off the um, 
village tunnel anyway. So we may just have to leave the Mac and the uh, village workers on this. I'm to produce out of Nordic. Got what produces into an enlist. Only sitting on f handful of coins so far, though. So now, I'm gonna see what Nordic does. There is a possibility here that Nordic moves a mech to the factory to try to keep me off the factory. If they do that, I'm going to put my third mech right here so that I can move this mech here or my second mech here. So I can move this mech here and then tack with the character and with the mech. You know, make sure to get speed. Uh, the metal's nice. The metal and the pop set him up for another mech. The two pop for four metal sets him up for the last two mechs. The score is we're probably pretty low. Yeah. Albion Industrial starts kind of nice at the beginning, then it really slows down. Those enlists are not going to give him any coin whatsoever. I don't like Albion going for enlist, guys. They've already got shield out. No, they don't. They just have burrow. Okay, there's the move. What else moves? All right, just oil and upgrades. That's good for him. It's nothing that gives him power. So Gawa moves, we can't win the race to the factory. Gawa didn't move. They put oil on the ground though. Maybe we should have moved. We were right about beating Nordic. I did not anticipate Nordic moving out to this wood tunnel and exposing themselves like this. I don't know if they're doing it intentionally to try to block us from the factory. 
But if Tagawa moves, we can't make it to this space because that's what we were going to do is take this mech and maybe a worker to here and then character mountain to mountain into the factory as the second space. I need Tagawa to produce one more time. I need it badly. If not, I'm just going to have to attack Nordic. Tagawa, Tagawa produced. Wonderful. Okay, everyone's at three power, so. Hmm. We move there, Tagawa's likely to just attack us and send back our workers. These workers aren't really a threat from anyone. So let's just leave them there and bring another mech out onto the board. Big money, big money, big money. Okay. It's not what we wanted to see, guys. The problem with this upgrade one would be nice, but the thing is, we probably only get to use it like once. Maybe twice. Because we're not getting a lot of coin from this mat. I've got to take this, it's slow, but at least I can get out in lists and move constantly with it. The good news is there's not anything in there that's super great for Nordic. See what happens here. If Nordic attacks us on the factory. If not, we can do a single bolster. And get King of the Hill. Because King of the Hill, you don't have to have the most, you just have to be tied. Is he coming for me? He is. If he spends enough, He's... Just wanted a card. It's like we get a combat star and maybe King of the Hill as well.
Oh, don't take power. You're gonna take cards, right? As long as Tagawa doesn't bolster, we get King of the Hill this turn. Oh no. Gawa gets the one. Oh, the one power off of the upgrade. We can't. Gawa and Nordic can't move. It's time to drop another mech on the ground. We may have to give up on King of the Hill, unfortunately. The Gawa produces here, they drop back down to three power. We could bolster and get King of the Hill. Or look like I'll be an industrial in the lead. Gawa produced. It's one turn worth a star. Bring out this arm next. I don't think Nordic will artillery us if they attack on the factory. They need to produce one more time. King of the Hill with three power. I mean, I guess we could do these three farms. That would be difficult, though.
Albi and Tagawa both looking good. We're doing all right. We've got two stars in turn 10. Way ahead of Nordic. We're behind Albion. We're ahead of Tagawa after the bids. So yeah, so now I'm going to deploy this arm if no one takes this medal from me. Don't think anyone will. Nordic needs his power to produce. I don't think he wants to artillery me on the factory. Could be wrong. Nothing in the factory that gives power. Not going to be able to reach this farm. Gonna have to blast through Nordic if we're going to get that objective. So, mechs, workers, more combats. Oh, he is going to attack me because he can take power off the enlist. So he can use he can use his one power to artillery me. And he'll play two cards to get six. It's easy, easy decision on his part. He's not gonna risk it this time. I could have played a five and one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he rolled the dice on that. Okay, so we got two potential plays here. We could deploy River Walk and threaten this spot, Nordics. Or we could deploy this arm, which would help us because we could disarm Nordic on that tunnel and they wouldn't be able to artillery us. That was a big hit to our points there. Not going well. Not going well points wise, but we're gonna spread out here in a minute. And we might get attacked here, so let's put one. Okay, if I go river walk, the only thing he can do is move to here to protect it. He moves this unit here. I can't. Okay, if he moves this unit here to protect it, I can double attack him. He would have one power, I would have none. But I could play eight. 
and I win this and get more power off of it. So, um, River walk. And he can't win a one versus two here. The Gawa might attack me right here. Got Ronin now. That would throw put a fly in the ointment for sure. Because he's bolstered again, he can go to 8 power, probably win that fight pretty easily. Another produce out of Nordic. Probably put it right there, yeah. Don't don't move Tagawa. Don't move. Trade for oil or something. Produce for your last enlist. Yes. The guy won't, won't mind bumping this worker. Bring it with. I'm just going to move the worker because I want this mech here to be able to move them in case I decide to factory card next turn. I don't think he'll artillery. I could be wrong. Albion has two enlists left to go. Tagawa has not. I use the last power up. Power off of this enlist. Leaves me with two cards. Maybe I shouldn't have done it that way. It's two fights and one objective. Mac worker. 
Another fight would do it. Got to increase this coin total, though. Trying to decide whether to go home or back to base. Got to start spreading, though. Get 12 coins, get to 24 once I hit 6 stars. Right now the point to win would be 30. If I could end right now at 30, I would win. I don't think he meant to do that. All those workers are going home now. Uh, pretty clearly going to go here, and I need this power to produce, so. Uh, Ghost Wheel's going to be a little bit salty about that one. The UI problem cost him big there. If Nordic attacks me out of spite, says that's his game, so. Oh. No one's really threatening tier 2 except for possibly Tagawa. can't deploy the last mech because that will put us at five stars and we're way behind people would suicide into us to end the game of course who's going to do that tagawa's got to beat us by five and right now well right now they're up by 15 yeah nordic's out of this no way he's going to make a bid of 21 at this point. Yeah, Ghost Wheel's about to say that he doesn't know what to do now without king making. Okay, though, I don't mind losing this spot that much. Just spend a power and get an extra card, which will help me win combats. Well, 
Plus, I should be getting some cards from Albion. I'm just mostly really worried about my point total right now. But everybody's still pretty low. So we're going to produce next turn and get the worker star. Really pleased we've been able to win combat so far. And the mech star, and then realistically, since harvest advantage is probably going to be not super doable. For whatever reason, Albion doesn't come out here. And we produce into workers. We could go down to here, hop a worker, and then go over here. All right. Got to do something, Ghost Wheel. That was a regular move action out of Nordic. Ricky's coming for me with another one. It doesn't really hurt me that much if he hits me here. The home base is one spot away from my exit point, which is this mountain anyway. This is one spot away from the exit point. The only difference was, would be if um, if he doesn't hit me here and I can move out, I can leave a worker here, where if it hits me, there won't be a worker there. Okay. Not going to play it aggressive. He's already got one combat. So he doesn't feel like he needs to. Who we got to worry about right now? Got to worry about Tagawa. Maybe threatening tier two if they're going for that encounter. You don't have to get a ton more coin. You just need to end it before they explode too much. The guy was going for a combat here. Hopefully they get artilleried. No, Nordic didn't artillery them. Leave enough. Pull it onto the power. 
That increases Tagawa's score, though. wonder if that part about the encounter and being able to place a trap was just a psych. Point to win is 31. 18. Huh. Can't get to those farms up there. Albion's power situation. Can't really win a fight against that. Max I can throw right now is six. Shield and four power, that's a non starter. The win a 2v2 versus uh, Nordic. I've got to spread out first. I'm going to do a regular move action, so I'll move here to here with these guys right there. I'll move the character up to here with this encounter. Then maybe put a worker right here. What's Nordic going to do? Factory card? Albion's at 30. Means the point right now to win. 37. I'll get six off the two stars, which means twenty-seven, which means I've gotta make some gotta make some territory up. Every little bit helps. Yeah. 
If I still had a five. This is covered. I can't get to that anymore. But I can hit Tagawa down here. Bring them down a little bit. Although right now Albion's winning. Substantially. Need to get to 40. It would be amazing to be able to river walk to a farm as Saxony. I'm not sure I can get enough points. I'm not sure I can get enough spread. Who can move? Albion can move. All oh, the factories clear just cleared up. Then take some take some points off of Albion. I assume Nordic can win that, which is why he's doing this. Ooh, Albion pays dearly too. Hmm. Or I can pay a combat card and want to fight with me on the factory. Take it back. I wish I had my triple move. Hmm. Tagawa move? Yes, Tagawa can move. Tagawa attack me if I go right here? Quite possibly. I want Tagawa to get combats or move toward the factory. Mm. In the lead right now.
but we need the factory to stay in the lead. Agawa can't attack us, Albion can't attack us, Nordic could just 1v1 us. But he's probably going to try to avoid that because I think that would be considered a king making move. Here comes Albion. This would be a nice little boost in points for them. Probably put them up to 37. But they won't be able to move next turn. But it can only move 1v1. Nordic use artillery as Oh, Albion's spreading. This is bad news. Oh. How much does Albion drain himself? Not enough. I can't win. I can't beat Albion. I can't win a fight with Albion, I mean. I can't take any points away from him. Thirty-nine. Oh my gosh. Nordic does. Still within reach. Three way tie. I need six coins, which I get from the stars. I lose on the power tiebreaker after units were, were tied. I need seven. Okay. Nordic can move. Albion and Tagawa can't move, can't attack me. So oh, I'm going to take a chance here and I'm going to go to five stars. And I'm going to put it... And Albion move. Albion can't move. Oh, that would be th three. That's going to put me at 41. Forty-one, and then the next turn, I take one territory, two territories. That's four plus seven is 11. That would be... 52 enough unless Albion's about to get a bunch of stars.
Can't take anything away from Albion. What did he do? Gain two power. Let's undo that. Upgrade. Please upgrading. He's going to get some coins. Nordic doesn't stop me. Let me pull this out. This is game, guys. But what do we got? Let it be within five of Tagawa. Got this. This is good game. Gonna give me three, that'll be forty four plus four is forty eight. Twenty nine fifty from the territory. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe we won that game. Oh my gosh. All right. Final score after the bids are subtracted. Nordic in last place at 30. The Gawa in third place at 38. Albion in second place at 40, and Saxony in first place at 44. Good game. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in for the next one.